A few months back in 2021, the artificial intelligence research group OpenAI released a text-to-image generator AI model, with the ability to generate images of abstract or factual concepts for a given text prompt. Although not perfect, the images it generated showed unimaginable results never expected from an AI. Now, on the 23rd of May 2022, around one and a half years later Google's Brain team released another text-to-image generator similar to the DALL-E 2 system, but with higher image generating capabilities. This video will cover what is this AI model, what made it better than DALL-E 2, and how it actually works. This AI model, known as Imagine, builds on the power of a transformer language model to encode the prompted text into a sequence of embeddings and a text condition diffusion synthesizer to generate photorealistic images. Combining these two model families, and consisting of a simpler system structure than the DALL-E 2, Imagine bears the ability to generate much higher quality images than any other system. When evaluated using the COCO validation set, using FID and CLIP as key measurement metrics, Imagine was able to outperform every other image generator by a considerable margin, while setting new records for the image generation task. Following are the used dataset and performance metrics. Microsoft Common Object in Context, or COCO, in short, is a neural model trained on images to recognize everyday common objects in images, and also a dataset in which the image generators are tested. Fresh at Inception Distance, or FID, compares the generated images with their reference images to validate the generative model's ability to render realistic, high-fidelity images. CLIP is a neural model developed by OpenAI, that assesses the alignment of an image with its given caption. At the completion of the test, DALL-E 2 was able to achieve a score of 10.39, while Imagine lead every image generator with a score of 7.27, leaving a significant score gap between the tailing models. When the generated images were evaluated by human subjects for image fidelity in the text-to-image alignment, evaluators showed a preference for the images generated by Imagine for both categories, proving the higher image generation capabilities of the system. Although being the best performing image generator, Imagine, shows a much more simplistic system design than the DALL-E 2. To understand better, let's look at how two models generate images when fed with a text prompt. When looking at DALL-E 2's structure, it shows three separate neural models built in series with one another. The first model, starting from the left side, is the clip text encoder, placed to encode the fed-in text prompt into a sequence of text embeddings. Connected next to the clip encoder is the diffusion prior. The diffusion prior generates image embeddings conditioned on the generated text embeddings in the previous step. At the final stage is the diffusion decoder, which synthesizes the final low-resolution image conditioned on the image embeddings carried in from the previous stage. This generated low-resolution image, then pushed through a series of diffusion upsamplers to increase the final resolution of the synthesized image. Now let's look at how Imagen generates the images. Unlike DALL-E 2, Imagine uses a 4.6 billion parameter transformer language model known as T5XXL, pre-trained on a text-only dataset, to encode the given text prompt into a series of text embeddings. Conditioned on these embeddings, a diffusion model generates the final low-resolution image, which is then pushed through two text-conditioned diffusion upsamplers to improve the resolution of the final image. But apart from this text conditioning, Final upsamplers are also conditioned on Gaussian noise added to the synthesized image at synthesizing stage. When looking at the two systems, there is a major difference in the number of stages required to synthesize an image. Additionally, DALL-E 2 encodes a given text prompt into a sequence of image embeddings before the synthesizing stage, whereas in Imagine, text prompts are encoded directly into a series of text embeddings. And this is where the secret of Imagine lies. In the papers, the research team states that using a larger transformer language model trained on a large text-only dataset leads to better text encodings, which leads to higher image fidelity in the generated images. It also states that unlike models trained on relatively small image text pair datasets, like CLIP, large language models trained on larger text-only datasets adapt to a higher language understanding, which is more effective at understanding the natural language text prompts and generating text embeddings for image synthesis. Due to Imagine's large text encoder, it bears the ability to understand multiple and complex sentences, while also having higher comprehension of the attributes in the given text prompt. Whichever method is used, Google once again was able to make a breakthrough and set the record for another field. 
Because of the potential risks Imagen carries, and the uncurated dataset the model was trained on, the model is currently restricted to the public as it can lead to harmful uses by some groups. It's not a surprise that models like these carry potential danger because of their capabilities. But it's also not a surprise that this opens a path to further development of AI systems with greater abilities. If you want to know more about the DALL-E 2 system click the video on the screen.